number three. No way. It's iconic. Hello and welcome to Yucking, the first ever episode. Today we're going to try the Arby's country rib sandwich, and we're also going to go with our top five burgers of all time for a chain restaurant. But most importantly, I'm with a friend, the Jacksonville Food King, Snacksonville. Thank you. I, I don't know about the Food King, and I'm about half a Snacksonville. I would say the uh, not as attractive half. I can't respond to that. That's fine. I, I don't need you to, honestly. I miss my wife. Shout out to Hannah. But happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So for people that don't know, are you from Jacksonville? So I'm originally from uh, the Midwest. I grew up in Minnesota. Didn't experience a lot of food there. Uh, when I moved here, um, I really liked working in restaurants. And I started as a server at a place called Taco Lou here. Ended up opening up my own food truck which kind of taught me the ins and outs of the industry. In many ways, much like my idol, Adam Richmond, I've worked nearly every job in the restaurant biz. That being said, once we got out, we actually got out about a week before COVID started. And once COVID hit, we had two thoughts. One, we wanted to support the businesses that were going through it because um, a lot of places, their, their income and their business suffered it because of COVID and I knew what that was like. And then the other side of it is, I think we thought we could offer a lot to the food blogger, food Instagram scene of Jacksonville. And so we jumped in and started doing videos and my wife convinced me to start making TikToks and the rest is kind of history. Jacksonville, I feel from an outsider. So I just moved here three months ago. Food scene is not really talked about elsewhere in the US. So for people that don't know, just describe the Jacksonville food scene. The Jacksonville food scene is ripe. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the reason is I, I think it has so much potential, but also I love people in Jacksonville, but they're kind of dumb sometimes. <laughs> they don't support good things. Like people, they'll hit up Chili's and Texas Roadhouse is like a two hour wait on a Friday night. But some of the best places that we've gone like don't get visited and people have no idea about. And like, I don't know where the problem with that lies, but that's what's like holding us back. But that is, that is, I guess my wayward description of the Jacksonville. Food. Here's my theory. Okay. Three months in, think of Miami. There's, you know, you could think of a few areas you can go to. Tampa has their areas that are just like food areas. Every big city has this. Like Chicago, you go in the West Loop, you'll have 10 out of the top 30 restaurants that people will know as Chicago. Jacksonville, first of all, it's gigantic. It's so that is, big. Yeah, that's a disadvantage, I would so say. So big. Um, you have the beaches, you have San Marco, you have all these little areas, but there's not like a true like food area that you could be like, where do we go? Where's the food area? There are all these like great places that you have to really seek out. And if it wasn't for social media and you and other folks showcasing these places, like I would not know they exist because they're in strip malls. There's food trucks that are in parking lots they that bounce I, around too i think you were right the geography plays a big part it's unfortunate but i think we have the potential so much potential but when you're in jacksonville there are a lot of chains and what chain is better than today's food arby's i can think of a lot of chains that are better than arby's <laughs> we are thinking arby's we have the meats go ahead reach into that bag and pull out our sandwich of the day do i have to you do Absolutely. As my distinguished guest, also for the record, the packaging <laughs> of <says> rib. rib. <laughs> Arby's went. Y'all, y'all went above and beyond on this. Packaging. Arby's went above and beyond. Their marketing department thought hard about that <laughs> with the packaging of this sandwich. Oh God, I already have regrets. Regrets. We've had a few. Okay. Yeah, that's looking scandalous right there. So, <laughs> before, oh my God. I mean, okay, so the McRib is super processed. This actually does look like this is legitimate rib meat. Good rib meat to be determined, but it is a Texas pit smoked country style pork rib with crispy onions, melted cheddar cheese, and smoky barbecue sauce on a toasted star top bun country pork i mean this is the barbecue sauce saves it 
I'm glad that's there because if that wasn't there, I'd be really distraught. So here's the thing about a rib sandwich is the ribs have to be pretty outstanding. So I feel like if you do a mediocre rib sandwich, you're kind of like shooting yourself in the foot from the start because the whole point is that the ribs are good. It's just pretty chewy and nothing. At, at least they're ribs, though. I will give them some credit for that. So I've never had a McRib, so I don't really have much to compare oh, it to. I mean, the McRib is back every once in a while. Very overrated, though. I expected, honestly, I expected to hate this more. I respect Arby's so much for what they're doing in innovation and fast food. They come out swinging with some of these ideas. It's just wild. Having said that, it is dry. I'm happy that there's like a nice big bite and you have plentiful meats because Arby's has the meats. That is the one thing that I had going and the bun's not bad. Out of five, my distinguished guest. I reserve anything above like a 3.5 for something that I would genuinely want to eat again. But this wasn't terrible. I'm going to go for like a 2.763. Solid score. Is, is that a I good mean, score? I that's what I'm thinking. I, I, I really honestly expected this to be... Because like I said, it's not like... And like you said, it's not atrocious. No, it's... But at the same time, I would not willingly order this. No, I feel like pulled pork is what's made for sandwiches. Pork, oh, yeah. rib, that's just off the bone. Admirable. Out of five, I'll go 2.6. One, it is. It is better than average. I'm bummed. I gave it a higher score than you. No, I mean, I. It's like the. <laughs> That's but, the one thing I feel like I lost here. Rib, rib. Honestly, the packaging. That's the solder for you. The packaging actually makes me like it more. Just the wrapping with the tin foil and just it rib. Literally, could have been written in crayon. It's the best. Hold on. Let's compare. Let's compare. Is this like compare the ribs, people? Are they the same? Is this a marketing stunt? It's stunts? pretty similar. It is very similar. Okay. If you're out there, if you're eating this sandwich, take a photo of your rib and send it to us. We want to see your rib. I want to see your rib. I want to see if this is... I want is, to see in other places how they do... If, is this a design stunt? Is this is this just the same guy's handwriting? He's very consistent, like he's been signing autographs all day. Is it Aaron People Judges? People really jumping on this uh, Chick-fil-A bag trend, too. Send us your rib. All right. The Burger King. Okay. Of Jacksonville. Oh, boy. I know Evan. one person who doesn't agree with that. It's fitting that we should just go start off with the bang on the show. Top five burgers. Okay. Number five. Start us off. Oh, number five. Oh, you gotta, you gotta go, to go bottom up. Way. Nobody wants to wait till the end and see what's Okay, like number least. five is the McDonald's McDouble. Wow. Strong start. And the reason it's number five is, first of all, I could eat a McDouble every time I go to McDonald's. And then it's it's paired with the fact that it's cheap. The peak of McDonald's flavor for like a two, I mean, they've upped the price a little bit, but it's like $2 and change. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. We, I really just don't think you can go wrong with a McDouble, and that's why I made my top five, number five. That's a strong start. Number five for me, just a Five Guys cheeseburger. It's okay, a solid I'll burger. i about this. Solid burger, but I just have to cancel my schedule for the rest of the day. It's gigantic. I'm Don't the forget couch. the loan you have to take out to get it. I do have to take out a loan. But to me, uh, the price, like, I am not factoring in price okay. that much. B unless we're talking, like, once you get over $20 a burger, then I get really, like... So I promise if you post, like, if you were to make a TikTok about Five Guys, that is the only thing yeah. that's going to be in your comments. People, that is the... I mean, it is expensive compared to some other burgers because burger, fry, shake... All that stuff, it's like 25 bucks these days. But we're just talking burgers. And you'll see from my rankings, the ones that I like aren't the full complete package of the restaurant. We're just strictly talking about the meats and the buns and the other toppings. So you five know, guys, All right. number five. We, we're coming at this from different angles. I don't love the angle you're coming at it with, but I can live taste? with that. Taste? I can live with that. Taste? I just taste don't even think it's important. good enough. I, I like wow. don't think there's anything standout-ish. See, the one thing McDonald's has going is like it's salty. And you sound I think salty right now. I am salty because <laughs> Five Guys doesn't season their stuff. Like that is the one thing that'll get my rustle my jimmies per se is an unseasoned burger. It's just like a waste of meat. And I I'm calling you out, Five Guys. Five Guys, a waste of meat. I could literally make a better burger with my eyes closed. Number four, let's go. Okay, number four. Um. Oh, number four, Whataburger Patty Melt. Mmm. 
I'm proud of this choice. I think their patty melt's good. One downside, it's a little heavy. I wanted to like Whataburger more. I wanted to love it. I understand why people love it. What's What don't you like about it? Because I might have a similar hang up. I just think this one deserves to be there. So I only got the basic cheeseburger. I might right. have got some additional toppings that I think they do like a chili maybe. Not like chili like, okay. but like the peppers chilies. Or whatever. Yeah, peppers. I don't know why I'm ladling like that's, that's See, I just... think their regular burgers taste a lot like like a Whopper. Like yes. it, it was nothing like special to me, and that's why it's specifically the patty melt. Once you like put it between Texas toast, I think the toast and like the style of burger, which is like the onions, very simple. I think that allows it to shine. But I 100% agree with your take on like the standard water burger. You'll like my number four then, okay. because I do. I think the preparation is key. So my number four, maybe you won't like it, but it is a Shake Shack. Okay, I've never been to Shake Shack. We'll get to that in a second, too. Shake Shack, Smoke Shack, and it has bacon, some cherry peppers, and it does have, like, the sauce, but delightful. Delightful. This sounds good. It has earned number four. But, so, Jacksonville is pretty big. Very big city. I just assumed when I moved down here that there was a Shake Shack. I lived in Indianapolis before I came here. There are now, I think, three Shake Shacks. I think it's a Northeast in thing, isn't it? There are Shake Shacks in Orlando, Tampa, uh, Miami. There's a Shake Shack in Mexico City. They're everywhere. They're in Dubai. It is an international superstar of a chain restaurant. There is not one in Jacksonville. I, I didn't know I that, could that until the... Until the Hot Ones burger came out, I was like, heck yes. Let's go to Shake Shack and try that. There isn't one. Bring Shake Shack to Jacksonville. I would appreciate that too, for the record. I want to try it. <sighs> okay. Number three. Number three. Oh, you're going to hate this. Uh, the Big Mac is my number three. That's my number three. No way. It's iconic. <laughs> uh, it's That is why. It's, it is. it's an iconic burger. Honestly, that the thousand, the Mac sauce... My wife will get a McDouble and sub out ketchup and mustard and add Mac sauce. The Mac sauce alone. I mean, yeah, it's not as good as like a local burger. I get that. But it's pretty solid. It deserves all the respect in the world. There's no other burger that a guy has had every single day of his life and has been well documented as the guy that eats the Big Mac every day. And he looks super healthy. It's very iconic. I need to have it more. Once I was like thinking about it, put it at three. I need to stop chasing like these other burgers and just trying to like figure out what the new burger is. Sometimes you just have to go up to standard. The Big Mac gets it done. I 100% agree. Strong third. <laughs> Can't believe we aligned on that. My I'm kind of surprised. Too. And now the wheels are going to come off. Number two. Let's I know, hear it. I know yours is going to be some uncouth business. Uh, my number two is the Culver's Butter Burger. Ah, I think the Butter Burger, simply on texture alone, is such a high quality fast food burger. <sighs> okay. Speci if I had to be specific, it'd be the Mushroom and Swiss. I love Culver's. As a kid, I used to go to Culver's all the time, get the Butter Burger, get the custard of the day. Mm -hmm. probably multiple times a week. It yeah. was phenomenal when it just came to my area in Chicago. We went, and maybe maybe this is the mistake okay. that happened. We went to the Culver's a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I was not blown away by it. I think your expectations were too high from childhood. I'm not going to lie. And and a little bit of adulthood. I, I think this is just a just yeah. a very nice Culver's, for the record. Sure. They were delightful. Like the Parkway one, I'm guessing. Yeah, but it just... It wasn't wasn't doing it for me. I'm sad that that's the case. I'm curious what your number two is. And if it's in and out, I'm going to throw hands. It's very close to yours. Freddy's. Okay. I get, no, that's fine. The most. That's cool. Freddy's is great. Underrated burger place in America yeah, by far. Nobody gives Freddy's love. I'm not even mad about that. That's a fantastic pick. That's like almost because Freddy's is almost like it's, it's almost interchangeable. It's it, exactly that. But Freddy's, they do it better, I think. I so hmm, I have a special love for Culver's because of the cheese curds and the custard. Mm -hmm. but I do some... like the Freddy's burger. Like the, I think it's a little crispier. Yeah, that is the crispiness does it for me. Does this the crisp sends I it over the edge? Mad. Well, you're about to lose all your respect I know, for me. I know because number one's gonna be something. I already <laughs> know what it is, 
and I'm angry about it because I knew this was going to come. <laughs> What's your number one? You don't know if it's, you don't know my number one. Yes, I do. You don't know my number one. Yours is going to be a double double. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? What's yours? Let's uh, hear yours. You're the uh, guest. Mine is the one who's double stacked. Okay. And Price is a in this. Um, I think Wendy's has a really, really good, like, small cheeseburger. And if you get, like, the five for five and you get a double stack, you're going to be so contented with your order because it's great value for the quality you're getting. Hence the number one spot. Now, just pull Hats the off, off to your answer. Okay. Yeah, I knew this was coming. I hate this. The number one burger in America, and it's not even close. It is. You're right. It's not the even close. Double double. <laughs> double the double. Double double. Animal style. Yeah. You're wrong, but that's fine. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, that's kind of what surprises me here. I'd, and I've had a lot of burgers through my years. I hear people talk about In-N-Out. It's, it's very much mythical. Um, and it used to be even more like before they expanded, it was like, oh, my God, you have to go to California. And it's only there. And it's just like this thing. I expect it to be underwhelmed. But I will tell you also consistency, because every time I have See, I got a story that for you. double double animal style, so consistent, so delicious. And also, unlike five guys, I can go about my day. Also, I just don't get fries at this point in my life because they're, they're trash. Well, there's a... But it's a burger ranking. Particularly bad. So congratulations <laughs> to you. In and out, double double animal style, the greatest burger in America. It's not. I don't know. That's our top five. Thank you for coming on. Episode one, smash that like and subscribe smash burger button just press it press it subscribe we're gonna keep Rub going it around a little bit too to make sure the edges 